Hello everyone and welcome back to more of our FIFA career mode. We're here with Newcastle United and uh, we made three massive signings last episode. We brought in Harry Kane and we brought in Declan Rice and we brought in Aya Zarabal. I still don't know how to pronounce his name, I do apologise. Uh, today we're going to try and make a few more signings. Uh, we sold a couple of players as well. Is that Jamal Lewis on the way out? Uh, here we go. We've got a few more scout reports come back. So let's go and have a quick gander over at some of the values that we have now. There we go. Okay. Um, 39 million for Henderson. 40 for Van der Beek. 32 for Martial. Lingard, 15. Ryan Gravenberch is one I really want to go for. Andrew Bellingham. These two, I think, are two key players I'd like to sign up. Um, as is Pau Torres. Who are you shouting at? I make my cat shouting at a bug in the uh, in the kitchen. Uh, Anthony has got good potential as well. Uh, I do want to go ahead and go for Kundi again at some point, but um, apparently they're not happy with us because we under underdid it. Uh, Reese James, right wing back, I think would be a good shout as well. Um, defense, we haven't really given defense much love so far, so maybe um, Reese James would be a good one to go for. I'm thinking uh, right. Let's do Gravenberch, thirty-four to forty-seven million. Okay. I can't catch the bug for you. Um, right, we're going to do a player swap here as well. I think is going to be the best way of doing it. I'm sure Ajax will take some of our players. Um, who would be a good signing for them? Ryan Fraser, maybe? Striker-wise, we've got... Let's get rid of Joe Linton. There we go. Um, right, and we're going to give you 30 million on top of Joe Linton. Right. Hopefully they don't... I'm comfortable with the deal, okay. 30 million plus Joe Linton for Gravenberch. I'm well happy with this one. This is a cracking deal for me. Uh, he wants to be important, which is fine. He will be important. He wants a five-year deal, which is fine. He doesn't want a release fee, which is fine. And he wants... Oh, he wants me to tell him his wage. That's annoying, okay. Uh, let's put you on 50 grand a week. And he's happy with that as well, okay. Okay, so Gravenberch is in. Um, we do have Bellingham as well, don't we? Um, let's go Reese James. So Reese James, 40 to 58. We want to really improve our defense, so um, this would be a good option for us. So let's go with 40 million. That, that was the low end of the deals, wasn't it? They want 53, okay. Um, let's go for 45. Forty-seven. Okay, forty-seven. Forty-seven's not bad. Forty-seven is not bad at all, and it will be a really good signing for us. He wants to be crucial, which, to be honest, he will be straight off the bat. That's some nice-looking cakes. I'll give you a four-year deal. Look at me getting distracted by the cakes. It's terrible, isn't it? Um, we don't want to do a release fee, so we accept that. And you want 45 grand a week. Accepted. We're all happy. Reese James is in the club. Right, so Bellingham, um, centre mid and left mid. Okay. There's a cat in front of the screen. I can't see what's going on now. Right, apologies about that. For some reason, my uh, computer decided no longer want to record, so we'll continue on. So basically, we come in to um, do a look at Jude Bellingham. Do a look at Jude Bellingham. That's a weird turn of phrase, but I'll take it. We're going to go with 35 million for Bellingham. And they want 40 plus a sell-on fee. Okay, remove the sell-on fee and offer you the 40. Want 42. I'll take it. 42 million for Jude Bellingham. We'll get him signed up as well. What's up, Kitty? You hungry? Yeah. Okay, give me a minute to finish this off and we'll, we'll give you supper. All right, so I'm talking to the cat. Um, He wants to be important, which is fine. He wants a five-year deal, which is fine. Uh, we don't want a release fee, which is great. And he wants me to guess his wages, which let's just put you on the same as Gravenberch at 50k. And you're happy with that. There we go. Three more massive sign-ins then. That's going to greatly improve our team. So let's change the squad up a little bit. So 
Declan Rice is now going to be partnered up in the middle with Ryan Gravenberch. And then we've got um, Bellingham. Okay. So Gravenberch likes playing a cam. Bellingham does not. Okay, well, that's fine. We can play him like that. As a centre mid. Okay, lovely. And then Rhys James in at right wing back. In place of Mankio. And look at the difference. The ability. Lovely. That's a much better team now. Of course, we've got um, the players we've brought, Bellingham and Gravenberch, have both got really, really high potentials. I think close to 90s. Um, so that's a really good improvement for us. And of course, well, as you can see, we've completed the youth development thing here. So the objective was to sign two players younger than 20 with a greater potential than the team, which we've already done. Um, brand exposure was signed a crucial. I didn't even looked at these, to be honest. They want us to finish mid-table in the Premiership. That should be easy enough. Get 10 wins this season should be easy enough. Sign four players to a youth academy assigned to one of each position. Easy enough. So we're laughing here, really. Okay. Well, let's move on then. Hertha Berlin. Uh, we'll sim this one. We'll um, want to see how our new players get on. Of course, we do need to sort out the squad numbers, but we'll do that um, a little bit later on once we've got the full team sorted. But debuts here then for Gravenberch, for Bellingham, and for Rhys James. And straight away, Bellingham forcing a good save from the keeper. And there's the goal with Jude Bellingham. Wow, what a start for him. Forces a cracking save from the keeper and then does get himself a goal anyway. Good save there by Dubravka. Good solid keeper, Dubravka, but... um. I am still leaning towards potentially trying to get Dean Henderson. Um, yeah, still a few positions. I think it's only really now defence. We need two centre backs, a goalkeeper, and a right and a left back. Sorry. Um, so I think, yeah, Kundi, Pal Torres, for the two centre backs. Uh, there's that Renan Lodi as a left back is pretty good. Dean Henderson in goal. And then we have a pretty strong first 11. Then it's just a case of build up the rest of the squad. Right, here we go. Good bit of play. Come on. Nice. Oh, lovely ball through. Oh. St. Maximan's touch was just too heavy. St. Maximan is one as well that, I mean, I would like to. I think mean, it's, it's realistic that Newcastle will probably keep him. But whether he's going to be good enough long term for them is, is the question. I mean, at the moment, St. Maximan is definitely the best player Newcastle has. Doesn't say much, though, does it? I mean, no offence to Newcastle fans, but I'm pretty sure you'd be the first ones to admit that you've got quite a few players that are not good enough to be in the Premiership. Hence why everyone's so happy with the money coming in, I suppose. Oh, bloody hell, he just punted it against his own player there. Right, counter-attack is on... Kane was out wide there crossing the ball in, which is not ideal. We want him in the middle. He needs to be our focal point. But there we go. 1-0 up at half time on, uh, well, beating her for Berlin. Of course, we won the second game against Fenerbahce. Uh, we lost the opening game against Granada, but that's before we brought any players. Since then, we have just consistently got better and better. There's a lad from Norwich. I want to... Oh, we've conceded one. Okay. Mr. Richer. There's a player from Norwich I'd like to get as well. I can't remember his name. He's Greek, but he's got like an 88 potential. Tzolis or something like that. We'll have to have a look at that one because that could be a good sign-in as well. Someone a bit more of a squad player because he's not as high rated now. There's also a couple of uh, younger ones, maybe like um, Shirky or Wurtz we could really go for as well. But of course, as the season goes on, the likes of Graven, uh, yeah, Ryan Gravenberch and Bellingham are going to start to really increase quickly, I think. So Reese James at number four, losing the ball. Oh, God, bloody hell. Uh, maybe uh, Max Ahrens could be a good option as well as a, a backup player from Norwich again. A backup player to play both uh, right back and left back from the bench. That could be a good shout. And I'm tempted. We have that really good young player in the academy, the striker. 
I'm tempted to bring him into the first team squad and he's only 64 rated at the moment but having him in and around that first team squad and helping him progress might be a really good option for us. Right, come on. This might end up going to penalties, you know. I mean, we need to win this game to go through to the uh, the knockout stage of the preseason so much. We don't need to really... Oh, there we go. No, he's missed. Was he offside? I don't know. Yeah, we don't really need to win the preseason. We, we don't need the money. Um, it would be nice to win it, just to get a little bit of silverware straight off the bat in this career mode. Ooh, good save. From Hurricane's shot. It's a corner. Four minutes remain. What can we do? Oh, great bit of play by Bellingham once again. Bellingham has easily been the best player on the pitch for us today. Easily. And there we go. Full-time whistle. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a group stage thing, isn't it? Um, the other game was 0-0, so we might have snuck through here. We did. We snuck through. Nice. Uh, final scout report on Lodi and Pal Torres. Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Um, so that is two more players we want to try and get in. Um, oh, there's Lodi then. So 40 to 58 for you and Pal Torres 61 to 86. But... I mean, both are positions we're very weak in, so I think we need to get them in. So, 40 to 58. Okay, we can do this. Let's get this guy in. 81 rated left back, so 40 to 58. So, let's go straight in with a 40. And they're happy. I seem very shocked about that by the looks of it. And their pink luscious locks all... Were... I mean, they'll entice any player to our club, won't they, really? Five-year deal, we'll accept that. Uh, we don't want to give you a release fee. You want us to guess your wages? Let's go 60k. That's 20k increase in what you're on. And you're happy with that. Okay. Nice. We've got a fantastic left back in now. Uh, Pal Torres, strong centre-back, 60 to 86. And he has the, um, is that the, it's not the leadership trait, is it? Uh, okay, so 60 to 86. Let's go straight in with a 60 then. They want 80, okay. Um, 70? 80. Okay. If you're being rigid with it, we'll go for it. We've got the money. Let's not faff about. Let's just get him in. We can't risk it. We always we already buggered up the Kundi deal, didn't we? So let's not risk it. Okay. I want you to be crucial, obviously. You're going to want to be crucial. Four-year deal. That's what you're looking for. You don't want a release fee. That's great. Going to tell me how much you want? You're not. Okay. 60K then. 60K seems to be a good amount for most people. Reasonable offer. There we go. That's five big transfers in then in this video so far. I mean, look at this. So we're getting rid of a 75 rated centre back for an 82. And we're getting rid of a 74 rated left back for an 81. That's two more big deals. Look at that. Really improving this squad. Really improving this squad. Right, we need to go into our squad hub now then as well, I think. We need to put the rest of these players on the transfer list. So, transfer list. All of them. There's a few players that are um, out on loan. We'll keep a hold of them for now then, I suppose. But, but all the actual Newcastle players are going to be gone. We're going to bin them all off. We don't need any of them. They're all useless. No offence, uh, Newcastle players, if you're watching. Um, but we're, we're a step ahead of this now, aren't we? We're, we've got better players in the squad. And we can get even better players to replace these if we, if we need to as well anyway. 
There we go. Okay, they're all on the transfer list now. Right, so Leverkusen. Um, let's... Uh, oh, well, we're going to sim it, apparently. I went to click on quick sim, but we're going to sim it. Right, so debuts today then for Pau Torres and Renan Lodi. So now our defence is somewhat stronger than it was in the previous game. We are in the baby blue today. Um, can I... How do I change the... Okay, it doesn't matter then. I know there's something you can do to change it to squares and circles. I mean, it's fine for me. I know some people might be colourblind, so I like to change it just to help them people out. But um, nobody's ever mentioned it in my comments, so... Apologies if you are colourblind. Now, we do need to sort out the squad numbers soon as well, as I keep saying. But we'll do it when the window's finished, once we know what we're doing. And that's... Oh, that should have been a goal. That was low D, that was actually the uh, the, 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 the young left-back making his debut who almost got in on goal there. And that is a goal, though. Great goal by St. Maximin. Crossed in by Iazabal. And we lead 1-0 away from home against Leverkusen. I mean, I'd like to try and maybe get um, Europa League this year. Potentially try and sneak into the Champions League, but I'd be happy with Europa League. Give us a chance to uh, build ourselves up a bit more. Alright, come on. What we got? Oh, nice. In the box. Harry Kane. There's a lot of back and forth, back and forth. We are dominating the game, though, which is great to see. They've got, uh, well, Tap Sober's a really good high potential player as well, they've got. Patrick Schick up front, I think, is pretty high as well. There's the goal. It's Declan Rice gets his first goal for the club to make it 2-0. And we are acing this, you know. We're absolutely acing. This is what we want to see. It's worth an extra 6 million, this as well. So, you know, works out pretty well. Lodi gets the ball in. Oh, off the head of Yazabul. And 2 0. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nearly messed that one up then. 2 0 up, though. I'm, I'm pretty happy how this is going. And that's half time. Okay. I mean, we've almost got our first team sorted. Just a goalkeeper and the second centre back would finish off our first team. In fairness, the Bravka's a decent keeper. Um, Henderson, he's actually higher rated than Henderson. But I think Henderson has a higher potential, which is why I probably want to go for him. And then after that, it's just a case of buying uh, more squad players, I suppose. I mean, I did, I was considering going for players like um, uh, Martial. Oh, I conceded one, okay. Uh, Martial and um, Van der Beek and Lingard and... Uh, hudson Adoy and players like that. But the prices that these teams want for them is just much higher than I am willing to pay. I mean, I'm not going to pay close to £40 million for for Jesse Lingard. I don't think that's worth it. And Van der Beek. I reckon in real life, Newcastle could get Van der Beek for about 20 He's very much overlooked at Manchester United, so that's a, that's a possibility. Oh, come on. Don't give this away now. Come on. Defend. What are you doing, Kitty? Come on. There we go. Right, good save by uh, Dubravka. There you go. On the windowsill. There you go. I mean, they've started to dominate this game now, and it, it seems that we're just sort of holding on. But the counter-attack's on here. We've given the ball away, though. Okay, it's a Yazabal bringing it forward. It's a good shot from distance by St. Maximin. It probably should have gone a bit further in, though, rather than taking that shot. But while the box, while the ball's at their end, we can't concede. That's the main thing. And the one thing we don't want to do is give the ball straight back to them by putting it into their hands from a corner. Oh, look, we did it. Um, right, so just come on. There we go. 
Right, bring it out. And there we go. 2 1 win. We're through to the final. We are through to the final of the preseason tournament. Uh, we've got Espanyol in the final. There we go. Isaac Hayden has had an offer from Wolves. We'll sell him off. Um, are we? We've still got 460 million left, which is good. We haven't got to spend it all. Let's just remember that. Uh, Kundi, we can now actually go for Kundi again. Okay, let's try this one. So, 54 to 77. 54 to 77. Okay. Let's go straight in for 60 million. They want 78. Okay. Let's go straight in for 70. 78. Okay. We'll take the 78. He's got a very high potential. He's already 83 rated. He's going to really strengthen our back line for the final of this competition. So I think it's definitely worth every single penny. It's going to last us for a good few years. Right, you're going to be important. You want to be crucial. Of course you do. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Four-year deal. You're happy with that. Okay, you don't want a release fee. I'm happy with that. Don't make me guess. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Okay. Uh, I'll put you on the same as the other. 60k. Okay, you're happy with that, but you want bonuses. That's fine. Done and dusted. Kundi's in the team. Alright. I don't know whether to actually go for Henderson. Like, Henderson's going to cost us 40 million. Uh, but he's lower rate than Dubravka. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one at the moment, to be honest. Well, let's make sure we get uh, Kundi in the team in place of Jamal Lascelles, who isn't terrible, to be honest, but um, it's not as good as, obviously, Kundi. There we go. 83 and 82 rated centre-backs now. I'm happy with this. We're really building a solid, solid team. All right, let's do the training day. And then we got the Espanyol in the final. Um, transfer offer for Shah. As long as it's not a player swap, I'm happy to let everybody go. Uh, we'll quick sim the final. We don't need to watch it. We get a... We went on penalties. Nice. After a 1-1 draw. Uh, who scored our goal? It was St. Maximin in the 89th minute. Wow. Okay, we played that close, didn't we? We won. We won the preseason tournament. We won the preseason tournament. That's an extra six million quid in the bank then. Uh, Shah's gone. Transfer offer for Longstaff from Southampton. We'll accept that. Right, so the other player. We'll, we'll do this. We'll do the other players next month, I think. I'm just thinking of squad players. Now, we've got the first 11 sorted. I just want to think about the rest of the squad. So Hayden's been sold. Uh, Palace have made an offer for Longstaff as well. Uh, we'll accept that. Uh, Leeds have made an offer for Dwight Gale. We'll accept that. Um, okay, Palace have pulled out, but it doesn't matter because he's already gone to Southampton. Dwight Gale have had an offer for Brentford as well. We'll accept that bad boy. See, we'll just finish off July now. When we come back um, next episode for August, we'll have a look at a few extra squad players um, that we could use um, to bring in. We'll also, um, we should have our scouts come back for the first lot of youth scouting. Um, of course, ooh, uh, St. Maximin, I don't really want to sell him. I think he's, I mean, real. I mean, FIFA-wise, I'll happily sell him. But I think at the moment, I want to try and build around him because I feel that's what they're going to do in real life they're going to try and build around him for now um, Gale's been sold Everton have made a bid for St. Maximin as well let's just ignore it then yeah so uh, we will start to look at uh, Murphy's been sold Matt Ritchie's got a transfer offer 
and we'll accept that. We'll reject that. Yeah, we'll we'll start looking at the squad players, and obviously we get the youth players in as well. We've got three five star five star scouts, so I'm expecting some good players to come through. Um, transfer offer for Saint Max. Everyone's gonna have to say Max, man. We don't want to sell him. Uh, Federico Fernandez can be sold. And did I not do the Matt Ritchie one? I did accept that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll leave it there for now then. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, we'll, of course, we'll be back tomorrow for August, which should be the beginning of the Premiership season. Um, currently in the calendar, we have got planned in. That's not a bad first three games. Home to West Ham, away to Villa, home to Southampton. That's a potential nine-point start to the season. I'm, I'm happy with that, you know. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back for that one in August. And of course, like I said, we'll buy a couple of players to help boost the squad as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Of course, if you ever hit the like, the subscribe, all the other good stuff, and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I will see you all tomorrow for our next episode of the Newcastle United Carimo. Good night.